with another workflow video. In this video, we'll be generating mockups for an Etsy store uh, that sells premium vintage artworks. So I'll walk you through all the process step by step, uh, how I select the mockup templates, then what are uh, some things that you need to take care when you, you know, upload your listing to Etsy, uh, the sizes, everything. Uh, so stay tuned till the end. There will be a lot of value. Uh, this will be a long video uh, because I'll be recording the whole process, the whole workflow uh, without cutting uh, any shortcuts. Uh, and uh, while I record, I'll also explain the thought process behind my uh, decision making. Uh, so if you're new to Photoshop and bulk mockup, uh, this will help you a lot. All right. So I have been given uh, 40 artwork files. So I'll first I'll put them into a new folder. I'll call it uh, artwork these are vintage artwork now i have a company name uh, so i'm supposed to put use it as a watermark okay and then we have some frames so i'll pull out all the frames this one so let me just investigate the frame first Okay, so we have this frame and then this rectangular frames. Perfect. So we have lovely frames. Uh, I mean, all of them are quite uh, good and lovely. Okay. So before you play with Photoshop and the mockups, it's advisable to go take a look at Etsy and see uh, what successful sellers are already doing. So and this is the store. I mean, uh, they sell vintage art. And north prints so let me open them perfect so i uh, will try to follow their uh, success template because they have a tons of sale 325,780 sales so that means you know they are doing pretty well so we'll try to follow what these uh, stores are successfully following okay so one thing i'll try to you know just notice okay uh, take a close look at this listing uh, remember what is the distance between the frame edge and the edge of the listing okay when I open it into a new tab look at it did you notice something uh, it shows the length is the edge the I mean the end of the image and the edge of the frame the distance is quite small but when we open the listing uh, the distance is quite big so this is very crucial to keep in your mind because uh, when someone goes to Etsy for shopping uh, they would type in into the search bar like uh, maybe I'll type vintage art and when you search vintage art uh, look at this listing uh, we could see, I mean, there are some cropping into the frame. Uh, we would not ideally want our listings to be illustrated as this. Over here, also, there is some cropping. I'm going to look at the listings from this aquamarine. Okay. Uh, so, though, I mean, it's cropped out, but if I open into a new tab, uh, you'll see uh, this is perfectly, you know, uh, placed. So I do not want you to follow this. Uh, we need to take care of how uh, things will be placed. I mean, uh, I want you to take care of uh, this effect, cropping effect from Etsy because it tends to crop all the artwork from the listing image and from the uh, search result. So you need to keep things in mind. Next, I'll open image into a new tab and I'll copy this uh, why I'm copying is like we will follow uh, this size as our reference okay uh, the templates that we have uh, these are quite big you can see 5337 uh, so this will be of no use when we upload into Etsy there will be lots of uh, mishappenings or files will not show up properly uh, so we want our files to be Uh, we want our files to be as good as uh, this one so we'll right click and copy this image i uh, will go to file 
new uh, so when you copy that you could see an option called clipboard 794 869 you can click on create so this is the exact size of the frame that we copy we'll press ctrl v and it will be pasted uh, this is the exact size that we want to follow plus if i press ctrl r it will be got rulers uh, we would also try to keep our frames uh, within this guides so how you are going to do that i'll just show you open first template i uh, do not worry about anything now uh, just go to the background unlock this one go to image hit on canvas size uh, before i hit that go back uh, look at that size 794 869 We'll go to this, we'll go to image, canvas size, 794, 869, and hit on OK. Do not worry, select all of them, press Ctrl T, and then resize them. So this being a landscape image, now it's a portrait image, okay? And now uh, we'll duplicate this one as well and place it onto this file. I will change the opacity of this layer uh, so that we can get the guides. Now we're done of this. Now using this guides, We'll try to place our mock up frames. So, this will be our, you know, uh, frame size. Uh, now, if you could see, there's a negative space on the top and, and the bottom. Uh, so, you are using Photoshop Beta. You have the generative fill command. Uh, you can select this layer and fill the generative fill. Or uh, there is another way. enlarge them uh, this looks good so you know instead of generative you could use as uh, that as well for this go to the select layer press ctrl j touch it out then play with some perspective uh, so ideally i do not have photoshop beta installed on this system so i'm using this uh, method uh, maybe it's a good learning for you okay so you can follow this or uh, you could use generative fill so this template is ready for me and i'll also check the smart object icon uh, this looks good perfect now uh, we'll follow the same with the other three so changing the size of the mock-up is very crucial uh, especially for etsy uh, because having big sizes template uh, will not you know provide any value for you uh, it will take a lot of time to manage and arrange so it's best if you could follow what uh, the bigger brands are following okay again unlock this one image canvas size uh, if i remember the size 794 869 794 uh, 869 hit done okay uh, select all of them Press Ctrl T, resize it. Uh, place it at the center. Now you can duplicate this one. Uh, bring in the guides, I guess. I think this is uh, decently placed. I guess so. Yeah, okay. 
and now for the width select make a selection press ctrl j to duplicate press ctrl t hold shift and then stretch it out uh, do the same on the bottom here press ctrl j and then stretch it out save it close now we move to our next one i love this image canvas size uh, 794 if i remember let me just check once more yeah 794 869 hit ok click all press ctrl t I bring it at the center and duplicate this one sorry I clipped it into a wrong location bring in some guides Turn off all and then click. This is the background. Select, press Ctrl J. Uh, this looks good. Save it. Close it. Now we move to the final one. Turn off. I mean, image, canvas size 794, 89. Hit on OK. Press Ctrl T. Perfect. Pull J. Uh, when you stretch the ceiling or maybe you know and uh, this flow, always play with some perspective to give it a better look. Now this looks flawless, isn't it? Yeah, hit enter. No, it does not look. perspective I think this is fine yeah and this looks decent and accurate yeah perfect now we do not have any use of this we can close this uh, now I mean all our four templates are ready uh, but I'll just check them once more Uh, let me look at the smart object icon i'll double click and open the smart object okay uh, for bulk mockup to work uh, it does not need to have a smart object within a smart object layer so we'll delete this one and have it white and close this this looks good uh, we'll check the mode it's rgb which is perfectly fine all other stuffs is good close it I'll double click and open the rectangle. I'll delete this. I'll have only one layer. Good. Close this. i check the image mode. RGB is fine. Close this. Now we have this one. Only one smart object icon. Uh, double click. Okay, so we have a couple of things. We have two layers. Uh, it's advisable to have only one layer or ele one element on the layer. So keep it like this. 
and you would need some adjustment because this mockup your design here it's a text file so we have to turn it off because uh, bulk mockup would only work with the smart object icon not with the text so better turn off the visibility so now bulk mockup will open this up and work on this okay and then image mode rtb is fine so this template is ready uh, finally again same thing text we have to turn it off go to image uh, this looks good image mode RGB color and uh, that's good nice templates are ready uh, but we are supposed to add a watermark on to that to add the watermark uh, we'll not add watermarks it's better we just edit the template so i'll open all the templates uh, pick up the mock uh, watermark file uh, place it on the top so like the one guy who assigned me uh, this project he wanted to follow the what not prints are doing so i'll just crop it out uh, place it over here and i'll change the from normal i'll change it to multiply okay and so i have dragged this and it is a smart object icon uh, we did not want it to be a smart object icon uh, because bulk mockup will confuse so i'll just rasterize this uh, alternatively uh, i could change this uh, smart object name from graphic to add the red design uh, for bulk mockup to uh, make sure that it works only on this one like this okay so anyways i preferred resizing that now i'll duplicate it to the other ones duplicate layer third duplicate layer so, got it uh you could play it with here i mean it's a ceiling i mean it's a floor you know so you, maybe you could if you add some perspective uh, this could look some classic thing like uh, uh you could try to you know i'll just play with this uh, you could you know play, play with your creativity and now so it looks like it's uh, on the floor so you can do that as well so i'll keep it i, I think the client would love this I'll save it and close and this looks nice and okay and save it and close okay. perspective now maybe a bit more ah uh, that's it Uh, one more final check uh, before I proceed with the template files. Uh, we want it to keep inside the design. We want, do not want it to be on the top of the design. Okay, in the design layer. And uh, that's all good. The templates are ready. And. If I talk about the artworks, there are 40 of them, and they are of different dimensions. Uh, the aspect ratio, if you could look, uh, these are of different sizes. And the other thing, uh, these are large files: 7 MB, 8 MB, 3 MB, 16 MB, 12 MB, 10 MB. Uh, so there are two things uh, that will hinder our process. The first is big file size. So when you process big file size with bulk mockup, uh, Photoshop tends to consume a lot of resources. So if you do not, if your computer do not have a graphics card or uh, you are using multiple applications at the same time, uh, this could slow down your system. So ideally, I'd recommend to reduce the size. If you have the good configuration, you can go and you know directly plug in this file sizes to bulk mockup. This will work perfectly fine. But I'll be resizing them just because I want to. Uh, show the other users uh, how resizing can be done. Okay. Uh, the other thing is uh, the aspect ratio is uh, different for these all of them. So let me just open one of them and I'll explain you how the resizing would work. So when bulk mockup opens this template, it would ideally open the smart object icon onto here. Then uh, it will uh, pick up the artwork. Uh, let me try this one, the first one, and these two designs. These are two. Of different aspect ratio, I'll 
grab this and place it over here. Okay, so if I talk about this, uh, this is perfectly placed, uh, but you could see uh, there are some spaces on the top and the bottom. Okay, so if I save it like this, uh, look at what happens. Uh, just give it a moment, it's 99% if you could. Uh, so there are some negative spaces, which is not ideal, okay? So there are two ways to fix this. The first way is, uh, you stretch it out. In this case, the actual aspect ratio changes, uh, but it fills the entire region. This is the method one. The other method is, you crop them out. The aspect ratio does not change, uh, but there is some inevitable cropping on the left and the right side. Okay, uh, similarly on the next artwork, if I, so if you could see there are lots of negative spaces, again, uh, two methods of resizing, either you stretch it out or you could crop the extra, uh, whatever you prefer, uh, it's up to your preference, uh, bulk mockup has the option for both of them, okay, so just wanted to illustrate how the resizing would work and what we will be selecting. Uh, now for resizing part, uh, I could directly play them into bulk marker, but I'd like to uh, resize them. So resizing, you could use any tool. Maybe uh, you could use Tiny PNG, the website. Yeah, this this is the website. The Tiny PNG, you could upload your design and resize the artwork. Or maybe you could use an app called Accent Convert. This is a free app. Uh, it is available for Windows. I'm not sure about the Mac. Uh, if you open this Accent Convert. Uh, you could drop, drag and drop all your files and then in the actions, make sure you select the resample lang cause uh, because this is the highest compression, okay? Uh, you might be wondering if we resize uh, what happens to the quality of these images. Well, uh, when you work with web images, it's always advisable that your JPG images or whatever images that you're using, it should be 72 DPI and somewhere around 1000 to 1500 pixels across. Uh, if you have larger than that, uh, that will unnecessarily increase the file size, uh, which will have heavy load on your, you know, uh, website, uh, WooCommerce or Shopify or anything. And when you upload it onto Etsy, I mean, however big file you upload it, uh, Etsy automatically compresses the size. Okay, so it's always advisable, uh, you know, to when you work with mockups and all, it's ad always advisable to reduce the file size so that it is faster for you to work and it will process the files much easier. So to resize them, I'll use Photoshop itself. I'll go to File, uh, Scripts, Image Processor. Now, before you resize them, I'll advise you to keep a copy of it. Okay. So I'll go to Image and then I'll select Image Processor Pro. Uh, we have all the artwork over here, select this. I'll keep on saving the save location. Then file type, I'll save it as a JPG and quality, maximum is 12, 8 is the medium quality, so we'll keep it 8 and the resize to fit, I'll resize them to 1500 pixels across. If the length is, uh, if it's landscape, so the width will be 500 pixels and the height will be adjusted accordingly. Uh, if it's a portrait, uh, width will be 500 pixels and height would be adjusted according. So I'll hit on run. So it will pick up the designs one by one and it will resize them. Uh, if you take a look at this corner, you could see the actual file sizes, 6238, uh, 5781. So these are very big file sizes. Now inside uh, the folder, a new folder has been created called JPG and these artworks are resized and these are quite small in size, 388 KB, uh, 268. So uh, having a lightweight file size will help us uh, speed up our process while generating the mockups. Uh, so I'll give it a moment to resize all of them. And if you're confident with the configuration that you have with your PC or a Mac, uh, you can actually uh, plug in the bigger uh, file sizes as well.
Okay, all of them are resized now. So I'll head up to I'll cut this and paste it over here and I'll rename it as. So these are the original sizes that you can use for the printing purpose and this is for the resize sizes that we'll be using for creating the mockups. Uh, go to Photoshop then I'll start bulk mockup. Uh, the first option would be uh, I'll select the template frames perfect uh, then the design file location so instead of selecting the artwork we'll select artwork resized a resize method so like I explained there were many options what we are focused over here is either fill canvas stretch or fit canvas cropping the extra you can select whatever you like I prefer to stick with fill canvas stretch uh, on the settings uh, design do not scale center no resize no align to guides a PSD template will have it as JPG uh, size of exported document we do not want to resize we already resize a template to that uh, HC listing so we are good there uh, the resolution of the exported document will keep it as is and in the export export to the subfolder so either you could dump all the export in one folder all in exported mockup folder or you could uh, create subfolder with PSD template so one template will have a one subfolder and all the 40 artworks will be placed there. But uh, I'd like to arrange them into a design file. So which means we have 40 artworks. So 40 subfolders will be created uh, for each design and all the four template uh, mockups will be generated inside that folder. So arranging them in design file, uh, it makes me you know easier uh, because 40 designs, which means 40 listing. So the listing will be arranged into folders and it will be easy for me to upload them to Etsy. Now exported file name pattern, uh, always remember uh, you have to provide a unique name combination on here. Uh, what I mean by name, a unique name, uh, there are 40 design and 4 mockups. So if I select only mockup, so there are 4 mockups, that is 4 unique names. So only 4 mockups will be generated, uh, though bulk mockup would work across all the files, but it will overwrite itself again and again because only four unique names are there uh, if you select only design so there are 40 design files so we have only 40 unique names so again uh, ideally we want four into 40 like four templates 40 uh, design files so we should get four into 40 160 exports so for the design files we have only 40 unique names so we'll get only 40 so uh, always make sure either you select both of them mockup design if you do not want uh, mockup to be added uh, you can select design and then add an incremental value okay so make sure that you select a unique name combination as the export file name if not uh, the files will be you know overwritten and you'll get very less files so i'll select mockup and i'll head back to main uh, now i mean i selected a design file it's all good uh, the export location will select a new folder here so I'll create a new folder. Put it. No more crops. Rest all the settings is already same. Now we'll hit on start generating. So exported mockup when we open it, new folder is being created. And a subfolder is created for the design file. And you'll find the artwork placed here. Isn't this lovely? This is thing image is ready to upload it on Etsy. I mean your Etsy store. Three folders are being created. Uh, so the speed is not quite you know fast as you expect or if you see uh, bulk mockup videos uh, this is the reason you know I always tend to you know ask you to reduce the file size uh, the problem that uh, the speed is not quite fast as you expect is because uh, look at this file sizes uh, the smart object layer inside this template is quite big we reduced the template size but we did not you know alter the size of the smart object icon and the smart object icon if you to look uh, it will double click and open it uh, take a look at my cursor 4493 3368 and 300 ppi 
so this is causing the major you know uh, sucking the uh, resource from photoshop and the pc and uh, this is causing some delay uh, had we you know i just missed to edit that uh, part if we could have uh, worked on that part it would have been much faster so anyways uh, this is how this works out uh, it will take some time it's 4 57 pm right now uh, i presume it would take somewhere around 30 minutes uh, to process them mm. just uh, i'll fast forward this on the editing uh, so that you do not have to sit around 30 minutes or maybe whatever time it takes and actually this is the beauty of a mockup you just feed in the data play the start generating button and go away do your course have a drink of coffee uh, talk to your family or play with your dog whatever the hell you wish you can do uh, for me i have to sit down here and uh, make sure the recording is recorded until the end and uh, whatever changes um, i mean adjustment that we did this is a one-time effort once you set up the template uh, you could use them uh, i mean next time just you just feed in the data and click on start generating okay so i'll just fast forward from it from now So I think bulk mockup has done its job. I actually, you know, took a nap while it was still working and it's 5.20. I was expecting 30 minutes, so, but it completed task in uh, 20 minutes. Now I can open and see them. Beautiful. I mean, the artwork as well as the presentation. And now this, uh, this can actually go into Etsy. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out, uh, the artwork, it is a number so instead of a number if we uh, the, rename the artwork into some uh, meaning i mean meaningless like, uh, words or uh, maybe a uh, vintage horse uh, village by the sea or some uh, terms these folders i mean exported mockups this could have been arranged into that uh, logical names and it could have been easier uh, for me to upload into that system so this is how you you know create um, mockups for Etsy. So I hope this video uh, had tons of nuggets and that you could follow into your workflow for any kind of mockup you generate in Etsy. Uh, 
If you have any questions, uh, put them into the comment box. I'll make sure that I answer them as soon as possible. And uh, if you want to directly contact us, so our contact email address is uh, support at the rate bulkmockup.com. Uh, just shoot an email and our support team will be there on the top of the toes to uh, resolve your issues. So thank you for watching the video till the end. Uh, do consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks.